Before watching this video, make sure that you jump to moonblocks.io and downloaded the Figma library file. Let's import our Figma Moonblocks file, turn it into a library and connect it with Figma sites. So the first thing you need to do, jump into your Figma account and then into any team, but it needs to be a professional team or above. I created a new project here. I'm going to jump in here. And instead of creating a new file, what I do, I use the same button, but I go to import. And by the way, in Figma, the interface changes quite a bit. So you might find this in a slightly different place. The important part is that you use import and you're now going to import the Figma file, which you previously downloaded. This might just take a moment. It's quite a big file. So give it some time. I'm going to speed this up here. So once you're done, double click the file. And then inside of here, you can see all the preset elements. So you're going to have colors, typography, and some elements already set up. Now you don't need to do anything. We can consume as it is all of these elements right insights. The only thing you need to do is you turn this file into a library so you can connect it. So jump to assets over here. So right next to file, you see the little assets tab. And here you see the library symbol. Click on this symbol and then click on publish. Again, this might take just a moment as this is a little larger. So I'm going to speed this up in the background. Once this is done, let's jump back to our team and you can use an existing sites file or I'm just going to create a new one. So I click the button again and I go to sites, important, not a design file, but you need a Figma sites file. And we can jump this because we want to start from scratch. So let's zoom out a little bit and you can see that it's already going to give us the home page. And there is a desktop version and a mobile, but in the file that you have, we always have a version, everything, desktop, tablet, and mobile. So we want the same in our sites file. Simply click on the plus button. And then you see this one here. This is already set up in exactly the same sizes. And we now have the exact same setup as in our file. So now we want to connect our library. So click on this little button here and then jump to libraries. There is blocks, but you want libraries and click browse team libraries. And you should now find your library, if not just search by name. Once you found it, I have two here because I have this installed previously. So this is the one I just added. You will only see one. Just click on add to files. And you can now see your library over here in library. So even if you go out of here, this is where you find it all the time. Now click on it and then you're going to see three sections, the building blocks. So this is all the little blocks, hero, navigation, or you can also have designs. So here I made some ready-made designs for you or wireframes. If you jump back to the file, so the original file, which you turned into a library, then you can see here, if you go away from assets into files, that you have three pages. So the building blocks, which you see per default, the wireframes. So this is where you find all the wireframes and the designs. So this is an exact mirror of this. And so all you need to do is you can either choose the pre-made blocks. So you simply select one of them and you only need to drag it on the desktop version. And then it's going to set up the other breakpoints for you as well. Or you can also use the ready-made pages and the same here. Simply choose any of them, place it only on the desktop version and it's going to set up all the other ones for you automatically. You can get the full template and further information on moonblocks.io. This is a project by Moon Learning.